Hey guys, how's it going? MacFan9000 here, here with a little quick tutorial. I'm going to uninstall this, I'm going to take this out of this computer, and I'm going to upload it into one of these open ports on that computer. Now first things first, with any CPU box, tower, like this, you got to know how you open it. So let's start with this one. This one, it so conveniently happens to have a little tab right here. You just pull it, toss this side casing aside, and there you go. You have access to everything, literally. See, here's the hard drive. As you can tell, I've done previous surgery on it in the past. And right down in here is our modem our Ethernet modem that we're going to take out. So let's get right to that. So here we have our PCI card slot section. Here's the sound. That's for sound. Let's stop one. Here's our modem and here's two blank spots. Now normally, like for this one for example, you'd have to unscrew this and then you can pull it out. But since I don't have a screw right here, kind of lost it and just simply pull it straight out obviously you gotta use a little bit of force yeah it's actually that easy now here's our other tower and since this is a newer casing than the other computer you just saw this actually has a screw that you need to like it's a security screw so just simply unscrew it with a normal Phillips screwdriver you don't have to take it out all the way just enough and then this little handle right here you just simply pull discard the casing and there you go there's the insides of this and here is where our PC, PCI card slot section is, and that is what we need. Now the door section for the PCI card slot actually has a little security door itself. That's simple. You just take a screwdriver, your same Phillips you can use, so unscrew it. Lose the screw, take that out. See, you have access to take out any one of these that you want. And this top one is actually a modem for a telephone. I personally don't need that. I don't know anyone who uses that anymore because the whole world's on high speed broadband. So now let's just pull like the last one. Yeah. Here's our modem card, our old one. And the new one, newer. Let's put that in the exact same way we took it out. Now just to give you a little more better point of view see this one this cable I'm gonna take out that's a cable leading to the motherboard here's this there's where we want to install it Just line up line it all up properly it may take some sort of trouble not trouble, but time also to get it in, just to line it up and work around any cables that are in the way that you don't want to unplug. That's in. Now let's plug this back in. Make sure you plug it in properly and into its correct port. If 
you unplug something that you don't know what it went to, I recommend next time you do that, make a map. Seriously, as crappy and corny as that sounds, make a map where you put your stuff. And it's in. Now let's just bolt it down and we're good to go. And that's how you do it, guys. If you ever want to take out a part from another CPU and put it into another CPU tower, that's pretty much how you do it. Take it easy, guys. Thanks for watching.